We've got Phase 3 of Season of Discovery coming out next week on April 4th, and here's what you need to know going into that brand new phase. First up, the level cap is increasing from 40 to 50. There's going to be new level up events that are going to start at about level 25 and go all the way up to level 50. These are going to be Emerald Dream events at those Emerald Dream portals scattered throughout the world. When one of those events is open, you'll be able to travel through the portal and enter into a wild unknown world full of new things that we've never seen before in the game. They're hinting at some kind of world bosses, elite enemies, all sorts of things to do in these Emerald Nightmare zones. And of course, loads of PvP. Speaking of PvP, the Blood Moon event is still going to be the main PvP mode of this season, so you're still going to be heading to Stranglethorn Vale and fighting it out, but the higher level players you fight, the more powerful rewards you get from them, and you're going to get these Massacre coins that can let you buy some pretty cool new armor sets. That's right, PvP armor sets are coming in Phase 3, and that is going to be some awesome sets with higher stamina rates and ability to keep players alive a lot longer. We know that's one of the number one complaints about PvP in Season of Discovery, so this is an awesome fix. For level up dungeons, we're going to have Zulfarak and parts of Maradin. Then at maximum level is going to be the end of Maradin as well as Blackrock Deeps. The raid for the season is going to be Sunken Temple, which is going to be a 20 man raid that's changing to single week lockouts. They said there's going to be a significant increase to raid drops because of reduction in amount of lockouts, and they're doing this lockout change to prepare for the level 60 content when there's going to be so many lockouts to deal with, they don't want you to be dealing with all of those multiple times a week. Sunken Temple is going to give us brand new and upgraded boss fights, upgraded quest items, as well as some new consumables that we're going to be able to get after. There's of course also going to be brand new crafted items from the dungeon as well as elsewhere. With the implementation at this level of the profession specializations, there's going to be a lot more to craft and a lot more of your best in slot items are going to come from crafting if you decide to go that route. Helms and Bracers are getting the new rune slots, as well as there may be a couple of rune slots added to other spots for certain classes. They showed us a hint at Gladiator Stance for Warriors as a boot rune that's going to be able to allow the Sword and Board DPS style warrior. The other runes, we're seeing a lot more of rotation improvement runes that are going to make it so that it's easier for you to maintain all of the buffs and debuffs that your character needs to be able to dish out without needing to constantly reapply them. One thing I'm really excited about is that there's going to be the Fell Guard, and they said that's not the only new demon warlocks are going to be able to summon in this phase. They've promised that a larger percentage of the runes in this season are going to be achievable while you're leveling up and are not going to require you to be max level fighting max level elites. To go along with runes, they also announced dual talent specializations. That's right, we got dual spec coming up. It's going to be 50 gold to unlock this, but you're going to be able to swap between two different specializations without needing to go and see a respec vendor. They gave a hit that this is also going to unlock something else, but we don't know what it is. They're keeping a lot of stuff under wraps. They said there's going to be a lot more new discoveries and things outside of just runes to go and explore, which is exactly what I've been asking for in the Season of Discovery. This season is going to bring us all kinds of new sets with cool set bonuses. It's going to give us all kinds of new usable items that are totally different from anything we've seen. I'm really excited to see everything that they learned going into Phase 3. Let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited about about this new phase or things that you'd like to see different. I'm Zesty Fresh with Zaza Games, and we'll catch you guys next time.